Good morning, Raymer Wood. So yesterday I went to the Raymer Wood Yard and got a bunch of oak. We do like half oak, half maple for the solo stove bonfire, which is about 12 inch pieces of wood. Use my miter saw here. Um, so I've got the maple kind of behind my house over here that I store just for my backyard fire. And just in case anybody calls last minute nearby that I can deliver some firewood. So I have some maple behind my, behind my uh, kind of like a lean to. I have some really long overhang on the gables of my house. It was built in the seventies. Um, anyway, it, it's worked out pretty good. So I'm gonna be doing this 12 inch pieces. Got my little jig worked up here. Just to make sure it's exactly the right size, I will be doing that because it's Raymer wood, just the right size. Um, and I have my little bucket here, handy dandy trash can here that I'm gonna be using for the cutoffs. And I will be using those for pizza wood as well as the smaller Mesa stove for the, for the solo stove. So nothing goes to waste here, y'all. Nothing goes to waste with the precious Raymer wood. Let's go ahead and get started. Got a little bit of time this morning, maybe an hour so I can do this, and then I'll gotta do some re-roofing estimates this morning. So let's get her started. Just shy 12 inches, really close. Perfect. So this will go in two trash cans. y'all an idea what we're what we're working with there all right i am done finally getting these 12 inch pieces ready of oak red maple and all my off cuts here so this is mostly four inches most all these the links is four inches and i can further break these down for the mesa stove or pizza oven like I said, most of it is around four inches. Some is a little shorter, some is a little longer. Um, now, this is all pine in here. That's for another delivery. This half of a face cord, four feet tall by four feet long, 16 inch pieces, about. And so that's another delivery. Um, anyway, I'm gonna make some bundles, 20 bundles of this. See how it goes. All right, y'all, let's make a bundle. We got some burlap, we got some burlap rolls find these at yard sales. I actually found this at an estate sale just down the street from me. It was really cheap. So I a, bought a bunch of these rolls. It's great for holding the wood together. It's nice and wide. It's probably six inches wide. And I'll go ahead and make a bundle real quick. I'm going to pre-cut some of these lengths so I know about how long I'm going to need. Save me a little time. I've also pre-cut some of these, um, this twine that I have. So, Anyway, this is 
is all like organic stuff. So I'm trying to stay away from the plastic if possible, just to help with the presentation. Um, anyway, so I've got, I'm gonna put five pieces, five pieces of oak. Five pieces of oak. And five pieces of maple. And this is soft maple, red maple. If I can hold it here. There you go. So that's one of my bundles right there. One of my bundles. So I'll take the burlap here. And all I do, just tie a little overhand knot here. I've learned this from somebody on YouTube. I can't remember his name that showed me this. You're basically just making it into a tourniquet. Just a little overhand knot. There we go. Still, still pretty loose in there. And so what I'll do now is go ahead and put one of my pre-cut links of line here. I'll put it kind of in the middle of the stack. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. So I've done that and I have a piece of the eastern red cedar aka juniper and I put that. This is this is just kindling. It's just one little piece. I just need something to make a tourniquet. So I, I'll put this in here underneath the overhand knot and then I will start to twist this a little tighter before I start twisting. Start twisting that tourniquet. And then I will take this twine that I have and make a little another little overhand knot with that. I can get my sausage fingers out of the way here. There we go. It's pretty nice and tight. So that is my bundle right there. It's about 10 pieces. You can tell where I cut it off here with the miter saw to get the uh, 12 inch pieces for the solo stove bonfire. So there you go, there's my bundle presentation. Very nice. I'll do another one real quick. See if I can give you all a different angle. All right, y'all, this is my last bundle. This is the 20th bundle of mixed hardwood for the Solo Stove Bonfire, 12 inch pieces. 12 inch leave a lot of play in there when you make these knots here. And I cut another little piece of twine.
stick over here. finger out of the way. Okay. There we go. It's the last one, number 20. Right there. Boom. There we go, guys. 20 beautiful Raymer Wood bundles. I'm gonna give my customer some fat wood just to thank him and give him a small little bundle of fat wood. That way, hopefully, they'll uh, order some in the future. Just a little bit. This is all my leftover stuff that I just use for myself. Small. This is all fat wood. It's dried out, but I wouldn't give this to him. I will go process some of the larger chunks of fat wood that I have and make a little bundle for them. It'll be a real nice surprise. Real nice. Well, I thought I counted 20 bundles, but it was only 19. So now I have 20 bundles. That's for any of y'all who actually press pause and really count to see if I'm accurate or not. There's my tiny little bundle of that wood, I'm going to give him just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just to say thank you. And to help you get your little teeny tiny little fire started in your solo stove bonfire. <laughs>